Hey everyone, this is Pack Info and thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can remove the operating system in your dual boot from your Windows machine. Here I am demonstrating with the Windows 11, but the procedure, but the procedure I am showing will be will work in Windows 7 as well as in Windows 10. So let's start. So this is my BIOS actually, and here you can see dual booted Parrot operating system. So I have to remove this Parrot operating system. So I have to switch to Windows OS, and I will show you the further step in Windows. Right click on this Windows button and just go in this disk management option over here. I will just do full screen and here you can see I have the two, two disks. One is for SSD and one is for hard drive and in hard drive I have made the partition. And you can see the pattern in this uh, the partition uh, that is land line pattern. So from this we can recognize that our 12 boot is in this disk part. Okay, so okay, that's cool. Now I will close this and I will uh, type Windows plus R button and just type this part and give the permission of administrator. From now we will do all tasks from the command line only so don't skip any part. So I will just do list volume to see what are the volumes in my system and this much volumes are there that is a i v d and one one more volume is there that is in disk part okay so which which can't be visible from here we'll go to disk management and the partition in which the operating system a uh, dual operate or dual boot operating system is there we will just delete that volume so just click on delete that volume and give the permission yes it will take few seconds and now you can see it is unallocated okay that's cool now we will go to terminal and here we'll again type the list volume so just check okay cool okay so our operating we now the disk is unallocated but the operating system is still in that and whenever you go to bios or boot bootloader or your boot manager you can see the name of your opera, uh, operating system as i have shown you before so that is stored in this system file uh, which will be around 100 or 200 mb not not more than that okay in my case it is 260 mb so what we have to do we have to just go in the file or uh, volume where the info is system or if 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 in your case there is no system written over here then it then it will be written like efi so i will just select that volume by just giving simply command select volume 5 that's cool now we are in the volume 5 volume 5 selected and now we have to assign a letter to use this volume because we can access this volume and do alteration right so we will do assign letter equal to and you can assign any letter which is not present uh, in this in this uh, order in, uh, in this letters okay like that is the unique name you have to give so i will give let's give an x click on enter and just exit this this part now now in the uh, my my uh, this file also you can see the uh, this volume name the x okay so this is system volume now but but we can access that from the my file and do the changes even even with the administrator permission so what we have to do we have to do with the command line so just so just type cmd over here and go and choose the run as administrator okay and whatever changes you will do with the cmd will be considered okay so let me do the full screen zoom in and now what we have to do we have to select uh, the drive in we have like a letter we have to go in that drive okay so which we have name as x so just type x colon enter now we are in the x volume just type drr to check the contained directories or files in this folder so here you can see there is efi and boot so now we have to go in efi directory so just type cd cd means change directory and type efi if you are not aware with command line no problem just type as i am showing 
now in efi again we have to see what are the content of this directory or a folder so just click on it again give the di di dri command let me just zoom out okay so here we have the different different folders one is microsoft which is for windows another is wood which is which which have msbs and all and one is parrot so here my parrot os is stored so from here you can remove this directory so i will just type r m t i r which is remove directory slash s and the, the name of the directory we have to remove which is parrot just click on it and here you will just get a confirmation message that are you sure you want to delete this operating system and i will say yes i want to delete it and enter just type yes and now you can again check the dir and okay now you can check the dir and there is no parrot operating system over here now what we will do i will just restart this system and show you the boot manager okay so before we start with the boot manager let me show you what to do with the unallocated volume we have created before so let's go in the disk manager management part so here we have this drive which is unallocated and i have to merge this drive to this so what i will do just go to this uh, drive from where you have separated it and click right click on it and just click on extend volume option over here then, then click next and here you can see the uh, unallocated drive uh, so this you can use to merge it just uh, it will by default select it if it is not then select it manually click on next next finish now let's check the bios whether the parrot option is coming or not now i am in my bios manager okay or my bios and here you can see in the boot section there is no option for the parrot os i can only boot with the windows os so i will boot with windows only that's it guys thank you so much for watching my video if you find this video helpful then like this video subscribe my channel share with your friends and hope to see you in next video